Hello friends, welcome to Spicy Cat Colors. I am very happy to have you here. Today, we zoom you out a little bit. We are going through my Christmas slash winter book collection. So I have very much enjoyed seeing other people share their holiday books and I thought, hey, I wanna share mine too. I do have a couple new ones. Again, I keep saying this, you may or may not get a haul or you're just going to see me start using some books because I have, I think, three months of stuff that I have in a pile. I've used some, but I haven't actually hauled it on my channel. Not that it's a big deal. I just so enjoy seeing hauls. It's not, I don't look at it as a braggy thing. It is a, hey, look what I got. Number one, is this a really good deal and I want my friends to get it? Or is this something that somebody watching didn't know about and now they want to get it? So, anyway, that's not what we're here for. We are here for Christmas holiday books. So, the thumbnail is the stack of books. I'm pretty sure I have them all. When I did my Halloween fall ones, I forgot a few. But that's okay. Let's dive in. This book, okay, maybe I need to go up a little bit further. Okay. So, line dot... Lines, Spots, Dots, Christmas. This is a Kira Shersheneva book. I received this as a gift and I have been using it. I actually started it. I did, I'll show you a couple. Here's the lines, or though, no, what do we call lines, spots, and dots? So I'm assuming this is lines. Maybe this is spots, this style, and then. This is dots, not so sure. I do like this, these two, when you can tell what the image is, cause you can actually do some different colors. I think these are meant to do like one color. Well, you do it however you want. So a lot of us use like, if we have a pen that's starting to die, or like this I tried to do in Halloween colors. And then here I could tell it was a stocking. So you get a little fuzzy around the edges. You can't always tell, but usually once it's done, it's okay. And unlike the lines, I have no clue until it's done. I can usually not tell what they are. Um, did this one. Some of this is a sneak peek. This is the one I'm working on right now. But this book, I'm just working from front to back. And what I like about it is I keep it in my work bag. And depending on what's going on, sometimes I have a little downtime. But I might have like two minutes of downtime. I don't have like a lot of focus downtime or even a long break but I'll have this on my desk like underneath my other work and if I have a moment I just fill in a line or a dot and the like so I do I have the Halloween book which was also a gift and um yeah I'm gonna be, be keeping this mostly at work and using it and I do want to let you guys know if you've never tried one of these books, go to kiracoloring.com and I think it's like the download section. Check it out because she has some free downloads. So you could download, I think she even has a couple like the full book and you could just like print out a page or two. Even if you just print it on copy paper, you could um, try it out. See if it's something you like in case you're like, eh, I don't know if I want to buy that or not. So that is my suggestion. That is actually what I did, and I do like them. They're perfect for mindless coloring, in my opinion. Okay, this is a brand new book to me. I got it as coloring for coins, meaning I earned it for coloring pages in October. This is Mounts 5. I don't know. I know there's one, two, three, and four, obviously, if there's another one or not. Pretty sure all of them are on my wish list. Except for this one, because I just bought it. Olga Golovshkina. I can't pronounce it. Anyway, it's a very interesting concept. And it's like all animals, or they're like fantasy, like dragons and stuff. And they're all a mount. So this is kind of a interesting page. But then you just go, I'm not going to do full flips. I'm going to just give you a little flavor for it. 
So it looks like here are all of Olga's books. And yes, there's five that are mounts. Number four is a Halloween one. Number three is a Zodiac. And then just mounts and mounts two are probably generic. But she has other books as well. Oh, including a Alice in Wonderland. So here is, I'm pretty sure all of these go landscape. So you can see like here is a moose. And... <laughs> He is loaded up this with all Christmas stuff. So we have a penguin, a mouse, I'm guessing, a cat. Seriously, this cat would not be posing like this. But a rhino, all in very fun, festive. Oh, look at the puppy. Um, Christmas stuff. And then on the back, it's the other mashup. So I'm excited. I just got this. I do have a page um, flagged that I plan to color for the season. And yeah, I need to look and see. I know a couple other people I've seen them share the, the books on this on their channel. But I need to look up how they do because I'm not a pencil person. They are single sided so I can use my markers, but it's a lot of fine lines and not real thick. So we'll see how that goes. Then this book I did a flip of recently. It is the newest Mystery Colors book, not the magazine, the actual book that for is from here. It says Joe Partos. I gave a whole review on it. It is a color by number. I don't know so much that it's a mystery. A lot of these you can tell what the image is. And depending which illustrator created them, some are a lot smaller, teeny tiny spaces, and some are larger. Definitely a challenging one if you have any type of visual um, challenges. So be aware. And there is, I'm just going to give you a quick peek. Shut your eyes if you don't want to see. They do give you an answer key at the back so you can like pick which page you want to do or if you're struggling to dis decipher some of the numbers you can take a peek. With a uh, Christmas theme, I, colors are very much pretty consistent when you go through the book. So, okay. Answers are now gone. So I have the mystery colors page in there. So my goal would be to probably color at least a page in all of these. And you'll notice maybe some of them I have a flag. That means I have a plan. So here is Christmas Scenes Coloring Book from Ava Brown. This is another book that I just recently received in Coloring for Coins that my husband got for me. And I only think I have one other Ava Brown book. So I was excited. I think, I don't know if these have doubles or not. Let's see. But they're kind of your basic. They're nice. I love that they're framed in. The line work is, is doable with alcohol. Probably will use my like Tau Trees with like the thin bullet nib, but definitely not too difficult. And I'm pretty sure there are duplicates. I was just gonna wait to see if they, yes, <laughs> they let you know when the duplicate pages start. So I like it. What I also like, and I need to remember to do, I'm not gonna show you this, but go to the last page of the book and there's a link and password. So you can download this book that I have in physical copy, I can also download the digital version so I can have it later. So set that aside so I remember. Uh, another book I've shown on my channel, I think it was back in July, I did a flip of this, Christmas Color by Number. It is by Becky, Becky Radke. It's a Dover coloring book. I think I got it directly from the Dover website. And it is a simpler, it is single or double, double-sided. So it's actually a really sweet book. It has a title like for each page explaining the picture. The colors you need are listed on the bottom and they're just your standard. Not any of these, you know, salmon pink or rose pink. It's pink or <laughs> dove gray. No, it's gray. So nice and easy. You can use the paper is, um, it's not create space. So if you have any Creative Haven books, I'd say it's the same as that. So I do like, again, and the images are nice and simple. They also have like no number 
on certain areas, specifically faces and skin. So it says blank areas is the color of your choice. So you can do whatever skin tone and sometimes just other parts of the um, page are left blank. So you could color them or not. Like if it's snow, it's just left blank. But if you want to make yellow snow, you can. I have one page I finished in here. And I did this one of Santa getting ready back in June in memory of my dad who would dress up as Santa. And I just used Crayola Super Tips and a white gel pen and a little bit of a metallic pen. And I think it turns out really cute. It doesn't bleed through. It's a little crinkly, but yeah, I'm excited to work on this some more. Some more. Now I want a s'more. <laughs> Another Christmas book that I purchased, gosh, at least maybe I got it last year. I, I think I've colored one page in it. This is the, it was when Jade Summers started doing like their mashups of multiple books. So they had Christmas, three books in one. And what, I don't know if they had this in grayscale too, but of course I bought everything before the grayscale. I would prefer the grayscale. So they had three different individual released Christmas books. I couldn't tell you which book is which. They all look very similar style, very similar artistry. This is the only page I did with a green marker that was dying. This one back in March because you can color Christmas whenever you want. So there's a nice blend of... Um, Almost zen doodly detailed, like whew, really detailed, more to just like a pattern type page, the occasional people, but kind of a mix. You could find any type of Christmas page you like. A lot are detailed in there though, so I got that. Here is one that some may or may not like. I have talked before, I have this version and I have the Halloween beauty horror beauty of horror book which is also a small book and this is the ghost of christmas alan roberts alan robert i absolutely love his um style and his humor and his artwork is amazing but coloring gore just isn't my thing at this point but i do like having these two small books i think i've colored two pages this was kind of just a patterny wallpaper one and then I think I did the title page so I'm just not that into the the gore now Guliana I think she can be kind of cute and this Christmas one I mean other than it's like a zombie there's not well I guess Santa's got an axe it didn't seem as gory <laughs> poor cat's too close to the fireplace and what I liked about this version of the book is these are they've only got this on the back side so I could play and use alcohol markers although a lot of them are so detailed the fine lines I think would bleed but it's a fun book and maybe I will get into it some more this year if not I like doing gel pens in here as well so I have that one so from the <laughs> gory creepy to the adorably cute here we have Design Original Santa's Furry Helper coloring book, Kaomi Harai. Don't know if I said that right. And I have a couple of these Design Originals. I like them. Um, they're not my favorite, but I do like them. They are based on like original artworks and there's examples in the book to show you how other people have colored them. Here are the Furry Helpers. And... Um, the illustrator goes through some basics, like how to do different backgrounds, how to color, basic coloring techniques. And then the when you start out there, I love this one. I said I wanted to do it last year and I never did. Um, not all of the pages. Now, as I say that, watch, it's not going to happen. They also have a little on the back side they have a name so the name here it says skiing santa refers to the front side of the page so each it's a piece of artwork 
is titled. And then it has a cute little um, quote. But I know there's some where they give you like color palettes. Here you go. So she, this is how the illustrator colored it. And then gives you like a color palette. So you can do that or not do it however you want. Here are, I did these pages last year for, actually I did them, it was for a, some type of tag video, probably a scavenger hunt because I did this in March. And I know I did one other page in here. Uh, I did that one also in March. So very cute. And this one I actually tried to do very similar to how, although honestly it was a Santa suit and a gray cat, so I, you know, stuck to the color palette, but I have that one here. I have, several of these have not been colored in. This would be one of them, Christmas Mandalas, Creative Haven. It's a Marty Noble book. And as the title says, they're all varying. Christmas mandalas. I really do like Creative Haven paper. I wish the line work were a little thicker because I really can't use permanent marker or um, even though they're single-sided alcohol marker, which are my preferred methods. And um, just because it's, it's like a bleed out fest, you'd think this was the gory one, especially with all the red that I use in Christmas. But that means I just get a play of something else. I really just, I have a nice set of fine liners and more than enough gel pens. So hopefully we'll get to that one. I have this Creative Hagen, Hagen Haven Entangled Christmas by Angela Porter. I bought these like a year ago in the summer when I was really diving in here and getting started on YouTube. And I think that summer they had like a bunch of Christmas books on sale. So I know I actually picked up two of these because it was like $3 at the time. So this is a lot of your Zentangly, oh no, um, busy. Here's probably one of the simpler pages. And I've done, I think, two. So I did this one back in February. I was trying to do a Christmas page every month for Danny Button's Holly Jolly coloring, but I didn't get very far. And then... I just noticed it's like got the, I don't know if you can see it, this weird yellowing from my metallic markers. But it doesn't go through the front of the page. Okay. So I have that one. And then this is the first one I did when I got the book, which was back in August. And I uh, did not have any color plan. As you can tell, it is just, let's see, all the gel pens and fine liners. And yeah, that's what you get when you just throw everything without really a plan but it's a completed page. Here is another Creative Haven, the Christmas Color by Number, George Tufexis. I actually love George Tufexis. It is definitely very detailed work, but his finished pages come out so nicely. I did this one and I must've just used, yep, water-based markers. Gives it a little streaky, but I tried to make it consistently streaky. Finally done. And I did the one with the kitty. I'd like to try, I think, this I did mostly. There's a couple alcohol markers I used there. But for the most part, um, again, water-based. I want to try one of these with alcohol markers. I have done in the cats. I have the color by number cats. I've used colored pencil. And I'm just not a pencil friend or person. This one, I started, but I didn't finish it yet. I actually have a whip. I hardly ever have a whip. So I need to finish the front of this title page. So Christmas color by number. This is another Creative Haven. Christmas florals coloring book by Jessica Merzerkowicz. I have just about all of it. Got Angela Porter, Marty Noble, George DeFexis, Jessica Merzerkowicz. I have my Creative Haven artists kind of covered this i almost was gonna get rid of it and then i looked through again i'm like no i actually kind of like it definitely has some florals but there's also just some nice scenes so again it's very much um fine very detailed so gonna need to use gel pens fine liners or pencils but 
I can do it. I think the only thing I've done is right there. I did the title page and I did this last year. This same image, let's see if I can find it again, is in the book as a full. There it is. So this is like the full size of that image. And there's the one I did. Here is a new um, book, which is no longer available on Amazon, but everybody probably is all aware of that. It is Cute Christmas by Jade Summer. It was funny because I just <laughs> was going through this. I just received it this week. I'd ordered it before all of the drama. And now I just lost it. There was this piece of paper stuck in it. Where are you? Here it says damaged, already reprinted. So I don't know if somebody returned it and this is like their employee's note or if someone returned this. There's no damage in this book that I can tell, but I'm very excited to color in here. I love this light grayscale and yeah, a very fun, perfect. And again, I love the framed in part and I like that they don't have the black background. Next one. I have a Whimsy Girls Christmas coloring book by Hannah Lynn. This is the artist's edition. If you are a seasoned friend, you've heard me talk about these before. I do purchase them. They are more expensive, like the $20 or more range. I buy them direct from Hannah Lynn's website. They come spiral bound. They are printed on a nice quality cardstock, very crisp, white, single sided. And she also autographs and dates it. So um, I just prefer coloring in these because it's so easy. You just turn this around and I can color. And this one has been updated. I know several of my friends out here have this book, but it was the original. So you had duplicates where it was two of the exact same page. So this one and the Halloween one, I don't know on Amazon what they are, but if you order from her website, she has, even if it's not the artist edition, she has the updated versions. So you have this detailed, I don't know how we want to call it. And then she has like her simpler version, which is a little zoomed in usually with a little less detail. So, um, which I enjoy because it's like, even though I would be coloring the same page twice, there's enough differences that I don't mind at all. So this, page, this book has not been colored in at all. So Whimsy Girls Christmas. Here is a new book that I received recently as a gift. Um, I actually am pre-filming this before my thankful for YouTube swap video because I received it in that video from the lovely Michaela Renee. And I wanted to film this so I could start coloring in these, but I have to post this after that. So that's why I said there may be more books that have been added in since filming, but as of that moment, here we go. So this is a colored caramel book, which this is my first from this publisher and I'm in love already. So very super cute sweet images looks like they will be easy to color paper is decent it doesn't feel like create space but maybe i don't know what i'm talking about oh my gosh this is all of my crazy kitties give them some milk so yeah i'm excited i don't know which page i'm going to color first but this will get some love this year and then just to show you so this i just picked up at the dollar tree recently and they have always a lot of coloring books. Some of them aren't my style. They'll have like the adult styled, which are still very seem zen doodly. Now there's nothing wrong with that. If that's what you like, the paper is typically thin and they always have a lot of aged towards kids. I, I don't like to say that because I think any age can color, but the quality. So this is your almost newsprint paper, the um, type of a coloring book you would have had when you were a child. And it also has, you know, activities. But there were some really cute images in here that are very simple. And I just enjoy sitting down and playing with crayons every now and then. 
and this book will be perfect. I don't think I would use a marker because I'm pretty sure it would totally suck up the ink. And I thought for a dollar, I might even like keep this in the car for when my husband and I are running errands and keep back crayons and there you go. So very adorable. They have several different, of course I got the Meowy Christmas. Um, they had one with sloths on it and puppies. And a lot of the images are similar or the same. And obviously this wasn't all cat themed, but yeah, for a dollar, I will get some use out of that. Here we have, I don't know why I have this piece of paper in here. Cause I was supposed to do this one as a buddy color this summer and we never did it. I'm so sorry, Jamie, if you're watching this, we can like reschedule. So Johanna Basford, Johanna's Christmas. Bought this last year. Have I colored anything? No. And the reason I wanted this book is because same thing. These have like a wallpaper pattern on the back, but the image is are basically single sided. And if it is a double page spread, it still doesn't have an image on the back. So I can very easily use alcohol markers, but I have not. So I hope I can get something done in here. I think the only thing I've done right there did the title page. When did I do that? Oh, in January. And that's all that's been done. Okay. So now I have what are two not Christmas specific. Um, they're just winter themed and I live in Minnesota, which it is very much seasonally wintry snow. So here is a, another book that I received in the thankful color tube swap from Michaela, 50 Snowflakes to Color, Camellia Angel Cova. And these are, I think they're fabulous. They, I wonder if these are before her mandalas, because it's very similar to mandalas. I mean, nope, she had other mandalas. And, um, yeah, quite a bit. So if you look at the style, it's a repetitive pattern, which is mandala-like to me. And there you go, snowflakes. I know she has a 50 winter mandalas, and those are more like so... If you've seen that book, it's like maybe the outside, say, is like the snowflake. And then right in here, she'll have one of her cute characters or a snowman or something. So it's more that there's an image in the middle instead of this pattern. But these are going to be so beautiful. And I'm pretty sure they're all going to have to be done in sparkly, glittery gel pen. So very fun for that. And speaking of Camellia, I also have the 50 winter miniatures. I have all of her winter miniature or her miniature books as of this moment. I am anticipating she will be having some type of holiday Christmas book released, but this is the winter miniatures. So there are, I'm pretty sure there's even some, yes, that are Christmas specific. New Year's, although some places they do fireworks on Christmas too. So a lot of these skew very much, you know, Santa and that type of theme, or they're just cute, cozy, wintry, and I have not done any pages in here as of yet. Now I have a couple just because, so I'll, if you have coloring books, you don't have to like get, say you like to color some Christmas, but you don't want a whole Christmas book because you're just like, it's really not that big of a thing for me, but you know, I might like to color a page or two. Look at what you have. So here's some examples. I have, I have several of these, but I have a couple of the mystery mosaics for Mindware. Now, any of these books where it's like a compilation or just like a general where it's not a theme, there's probably, so I'm going to show you these answer keys because these tip, you wouldn't know it's, it's a mosaic. You got to like follow the pattern to get your image. But if you look at the back of your, now this will only work if you don't mind looking at the answers. There are probably things that apply. So here, this one, I just grabbed these two off the shelf. This one has a nutcracker, which would work for winter. And this one, he looks like he could be out in the snow this ram and here I just grabbed so I had book one and book 16 let's see what book 16 has I haven't looked I hope if there's not one I'm gonna feel foolish oh there we go we got somebody skiing and then look so here's like a spring one 
Um, just, I mean, don't forget to look in these. And if you're wanting to do like holiday pages, so here we have a, I thought this was a reindeer, but I think now those are flowers. So maybe, but if you live somewhere warm, this could be your winter and a turkey for Thanksgiving. So like I said, you know, look at some of your other books or so for example, here, many of us bought the color Questopia highlight reel and other companies. You're going to see another one that I have where I'll show you and, um, sun life drawing. I've recently finished their compilation book, but in here, there are, I tried to flag it so I could find them. So they've got like examples. So this is from Christmas Fantasy. It's a Christmas page. This is from Christmas Mosaic with the scary faced people. And here we have angels could be Christmassy. But most likely if you have a compilation book and that publisher puts out a themed holiday book, you probably have examples in your book. Here's another one. I have the Sachin Sachdeva 100 best collection pages. I really am thinking I want is, did he just put out one with all color by number? I think I would like that one more, but this is not bad because it gives you multiples. So in here, he has the Christmas adult coloring book, which is an older one of his, but there's multiple pages. So there's 10 pages from that book that are all Christmas in this one. So I'm just gonna do a quick little flip. So, you know, that would be like 10 pages and that's all you want for the season. There you go. You don't have to have a whole book or if you only wanna do one a year, you can use this for a long time. I also have, here's another one of the Jade Summers where they mashed them together. So this is the Kawaii Girls and this has a Christmas book. And I believe those are all at the end. So it's their full Kawaii Christmas. This was the one that I wish I'd waited and bought it when it came out in grayscale. But I have this one, which is fine. So you have several pages in here that are all Christmas Kawaii Girls. So you can look at that. I have two other Christmas books that are completed. If you want to see those, they're actually in my completed books playlist. I did flip throughs. Um, I was going to grab them and I forgot and I'm too lazy to go pick them up. So I have three more to show you and we'll talk about them. So this is another Creative Haven Christmas Fantasy Fashions by Mingju Sun. I have done one page in here. I did this page and I have decided I do not like this book <laughs> simply because fashion is not my thing. I bought it. Did I write when I bought it? I started it. I just wrote the date I started. So this fashion is just not for me. I'm just not, I love doing like portraits or like Hannah Lynn girls fashion and Jade Summer fashion but not all this patterny dresses. It's just not for me. It's for somebody, it is not for me. So this will be getting passed on instead of forcing myself. It was in my 10 books to touch in 2021 because I wanted to try it and I did the one page and I like the page, but it was like, I don't know what colors to choose. There's so much going on and it's supposed to be holiday. So, that is, but it's another Christmas book. If this is your thing, you would want to know that. Then I have this one, which is the Mystery Colors magazine, which I do subscribe to. There is a full flip showing the answer key on my channel. I will link that in the eye in the sky. And here you go. These are all the Christmas. So this one I am also not going to keep because uh, the book I showed you earlier has not all, but many of these pages in it. So it's duplicates. And for the ones that aren't duplicated, I just don't care about them enough that I need to keep it. I'm happy with just the one book. So this will also be getting passed on. And then here, 
this book I don't know if I've ever shown because this was one of those blind buys when I was just buying everything that I found on Amazon as a good deal and I got this book and I was so disappointed again it's just not for me it's a grayscale adult coloring book I have no idea who Deanna Harrison is but um, I tried to leave a review and it wasn't positive and it got rejected. I don't know why. <laughs> so let me show you this. And again, maybe this is for somebody. So what this is, and I know this is a style of what people do for grayscale. But when I was used to like Jade Summer type grade scale, and then I got this, which is basically stock photographs that have been digitized to be grayscale and there's nothing wrong with that um and I know I've seen other actually artists that have people that look very similar to how these people are projected but then there's like this cartoony one in here so it's kind of a mix but it is just like I don't I don't want it I don't want to like that could be really pretty and the other thing for me personally you know, I've seen like the beauties and I can't remember the the publisher, the illustrators that do like these beautiful like model um, women in this style. And since I use alcohol markers, all I can see is bleed out everywhere. They are single sided. So that's a good thing. Oh, this is a cutie. You know, I could just color in the red. But I'm just, I have other books I would rather work in. But I wanted to show it in case it is something people are interested in. It really was not very expensive and you get a lot of pages in here. So that is Have a Holly Jolly Christmas, Deanna Harrison, Grayscale Adult Coloring Book. And that, my friends, is everything. Those are all of my um, Christmassy winter books. There's not enough time. Um, my goal is to always do like two pages in a book. I may just have to settle for one so I can do that. But yeah, I, like I said, I wanted to put this out there just because I enjoy seeing other people's books, collections. One day I might do an actual, you know, full collection, but for now I could do this seasonal one. And I had done my seasonal for, um, Halloween fall but yeah let me know do what kind of Christmassy books do you guys like to do are you into the cutesy do you like realism I am again seasoned friends you know I'm a easy colorist type person I do minimal shading if any I like to use gel pen to add some sparkle alcohol base don't really do pencils I'll play with crayons but there you go so if you've made it to the end of the video, number one, I want to tell you how much you matter. And number two, I'm doing a hidden giveaway. Yes, these three books, if you did not click out. Now, please understand, I live in the United States. I live in Minnesota. I can only send these out to um, a in-state, or not in-state. I will send them outside of Minnesota, but a U.S a mailing address. So I have three books. So let's do three different giveaways. You can enter for all three. I'm going to try and keep it simple, which is pretty crazy for me because I am the most complex, overanalyze, overdo everything. But if you would actually like to have one of these books, or all three, you're going to put in a code word for each of the books. So how can we do this so it's not like super obvious? Um, and you can put all three code words, just leave one comment and you can put all three words because what I'll do is a comment picker and I will search for the words. So if you are interested in this Christmas fantasy fashions, now you're getting this book. So you're getting this piece of art created, dated and signed by moi. <laughs> And it's the last page of the book, so feel free to tear it out <laughs> if you hate it. But this is the book you're going to get. The rest of it is uncolored, and there is one small note of where I started it. But if you would like to have this book include the word fashion in your comment, 
include the word fashion. Please do not, if you say, enter me this giveaway, I you're just going to be deleted because this is a hidden giveaway because I don't do giveaways to gain viewers or anything. I just like to reward the people who enjoy my channel and actually watch and support me to the end. So include the word fashion. This one, if you would like the mystery colors. Now this is still available on newsstands. So, um, but I know a lot of people can't find it or they're gone. So it'll be displayed until January 3rd. So if you would like this one, put the word mystery. So fashion mystery is the code word for this one. And if you would like to try out this book, let's use the word jolly. Oh my gosh, does anybody else see? Does that teddy bear look extremely scared? <laughs> His eyes are bugging out. I just noticed that. <laughs> okay, anyway. So, again, you can win one, you can win all three. I will draw three times and... um if you want more than one. So say you said, yes, I would love to have either one of these in your comment. Just include the word fashion and the word mystery. Just one comment. You can put both those words in there. If you want all three, include the word jolly, mystery, and fashion. If you would only want this one, just include the word jolly. Does that make sense, friends? I'm trying to keep it simple. I am posting this Thanksgiving weekend, so I will keep the um, giveaway open until, I'm going to put it until the end of the month, November 30th, just because I know I personally am not able to watch all the videos when they are first posted, just because life. So I like to give people some extra time in case you're catching up after the fact. So there you go. That was my Christmas collection with hidden giveaways. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, leave one comment with the word or words of books you would like to receive. Have a U.S. mailing address. I will draw the winners on November 30th. I will contact you preferably via Instagram um, if I can find you. Otherwise, I will I will reach out to you. So hopefully there's a way I can find you instead of doing an announcement. And um, yeah, there we go. I'll try and get them mailed out right away so you could hopefully have them before Christmas to play in. Is there anything else I need to say? Well, I started saying it and I truly, truly mean it. I want to tell you how much you matter. You are beautiful, you are amazing, especially if you hung out till the end. I am grateful for you. And I hope that things are going well for you because this can be a very challenging time of year for many people. And just know you're not alone. Whatever you're facing, pretty much everybody can relate. And sometimes if we're having a really good time, we need to remember that somebody else is not and just do our part to help others and lift them up because we're all facing a struggle of some kind and we aren't able to always share that. So just know you are loved, you are valued, and you matter. I will see you again soon, friends. Bye.